Good morning, I'm James Brierton with you this morning from Athens, Georgia. Happy 4th of July. An update for you now on Invest 92L. You can see it on satellite here this morning. It's a slightly more organized cluster of thunderstorms off the southeast coast here. You can see it just off of uh, Jacksonville, Florida. We're still waiting for a center of circulation to form and the hurricane hunters are going to fly out into this system later, which will help us get an idea of what the impacts will be over the course of the next few days. You can see the National Hurricane Center does give it a 60% chance of development into a tropical system over the next 48 hours. So it won't be impacting your 4th of July in most cases, but we could be talking about some impacts from this possible tropical system as we head through Saturday and Sunday, so the rest of your 4th of July weekend. Keep that in mind if you'll be traveling. What are we talking about? We're probably talking about a tropical depression or some sort of variant thereof. Maybe a weak tropical storm, but that's kind of an overachieving scenario at best. So a couple model runs this morning just to kind of show you where we're kind of thinking this thing might go. You can look here at the latest high resolution rapid refresh, the HER as we like to call it. This goes out through Saturday and into Sunday. And you can see we do eventually get a, a better organized center of circulation as it makes its way towards Myrtle Beach. If you were to ask this version of the HER, which came out today, it's called our 12Z. Um, but you can also notice that that some of the impacts from this will be some banding, if you will. Again, it's not highly organized, but there are going to be a couple of scattered bands of some tropical downpours out ahead of this. We'll talk more about the impacts in a minute, but I want to show you that this is not necessarily exactly what's going to happen, and there's some spread in the models this morning. So if you were to ask the NAM, for example, this is the NAM 6Z for those of you playing along at home. Again, kind of the same timeline, you'll notice the center of circulation comes a little bit closer to say maybe Georgetown by the time we get to Sunday. So a little bit further south for any sort of potential landfall of this system. Uh, but even the NAM itself this morning, the 12Z, the latest run, brings that even a little bit further south, almost south of Charleston here. That, that, that's pretty usual to see a spread like that or a margin of error like that. We don't have a cone to show you just yet. Uh, on this system, it's still a little bit too early, but that Hurricane Hunter flight is gonna go out today. It's gonna pick up more data, data is good. And it's gonna eventually, the system is eventually gonna maybe get a little bit more organized around a low. And once we have that low, we'll be able to better determine which path this might take. But all in all, given even this slight margin of error, you can see on the model runs that more or less, this system is going to probably kind of hug the South Carolina coast and maybe kind of the center of circulation will come up uh, along I-95. But we're not expecting a very symmetrical system. So even when we look at the impacts, this is rainfall that we can forecast through next Tuesday or Wednesday. And so you can see that most of the impacts from this system will be in the form of heavy rain, and that will be along the coast. So some of these areas locally could see two, three, maybe four inches of rain on the upper end. And you can see that we do have some rain accumulations that push in towards, say, the I-95 corridor, even maybe the Sand Hills, and maybe just on the outskirts of Fayetteville or the Charlotte area at the most, bringing maybe an inch or two inches of rain. Western North Carolina, upstate South Carolina, not a whole lot of rain impacts for you from this system. Uh, overall, the impacts that we can project to see from what is called Invest 92L right now, heavy rain, localized flash flooding, if you happen to get one or two of these repeated scattered tropical downpours, coastal flooding, and rip currents and rough surf. So I think that last key is really what to drive home if you're going to be traveling, if you're going to be at the beach, especially if you're not familiar with the beach, not that you haven't been there before, but most of the incidents, most of the fatalities we see related to rip currents are people who travel from inland to the beach. So be sure to stay within line of sight of lifeguards. As a reminder, National Hurricane Center does have us at about a 60% chance of seeing an above normal hurricane season this year. That means 13 to 19 named storms. This could become a named storm if it were to achieve that tropical storm status, it might not. Uh, and throughout the whole course of the season between say now and November, we might see six to 10 hurricanes um, according to the outlook from the National Hurricane Center. If this does get a name, it will be Barry. Uh, we'll wait to see exactly if it achieves that or not. Uh, still to be determined, but 
leaving you this morning with the latest satellite. You can see we do have that cluster of showers and thunderstorms off the coast. Uh, we told you about it on Wednesday night on the Carolina Weather Group that we were going to be watching something for this weekend. And lo and behold, as we now make our way through Friday and into the weekend, we're, we're seeing this get a little bit more organized. Uh, and just again, keep an eye on some of those impacts, heavy rain, localized flash flooding and rough surf. If you haven't already, I hope you'll follow us on social media, on YouTube for updates on the storm. And when we start to see some impacts from the storm, you can always catch real-time weather warnings, radars, and sky cams streaming on our Carolina Weather Net. It's available any place you watch YouTube from your smartphone to your smart TV. Until then, I'm James Briarton on the road this morning in Athens, Georgia. Hope you have a happy and safe 4th of July. We'll talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye.